Um, on the tutorial files I had to delete the pipe size that I'm just about to add back in again uh, just in case you run into that. Uh, so the scenario is that I want to add a half inch plastic pipe to my uh, project. I can go up to the mechanical settings and I can look under the sizes. You see I can specify the material from the list available so I'll say plastic um, and what I'm going to, I'm assuming it's schedule 40 and what I'm going to do down here is uh, say that I want a new size. Oh, it must be that the, this has put it back in again. It must be that these are coming from a, a catalog that's part of the, the the project. So what I'll do is just to to show you, I'll say new size and I'll just create my own. Let's say I said uh, three quarters of an inch. I'm just going to, these are bogus values. I'm just showing that I can put no, I won't do that. Thank you very much. Um, let's see, take that out, the half inch size. And then I'll go back and put it in again just to show you. So I'm going to say new size, um, half inch, inside diameter, 5 eighths, outside diameter, Twenty-seven thirty seconds, and click OK. There's the pipe that's been added for the size that I want, and I'd, I'd put a check. Make sure the checkbox is here so that it's used. Uh, it's listed when you're looking for a pipe, and when you use the automatic sizing option, it'll it will have that also available for uh, for sizing the pipe. You could you could if you wanted. If say something wasn't available or appropriate, you could uncheck this so that it's not used, either being listed for the user or um, being used when it selects from what's available in sizing the pipes. 